Good morning, CCAT. I'm Nicole Placencia, and here's your CCAT news around the depot for this week. Well, CCAT has officially said goodbye to the UH-1H Iroquois Huey. In a ceremony last Tuesday, CCAT employees and veterans from around the coastal bend gathered out on the flight line to see the last Huey take off from the depot. Present to give the final send-off was Chief Warrant Officer 4, Larry Castagnetto, who holds more than 9,000 flight hours in the Huey. I've been flying the Huey since 1969 professionally, so then I flew it offshore for a while, offshore oil pilot, so it's, you know, I mean, it's, it's as much part of me as anything else is. Well, it, it's kind of a sad moment, I mean, because there's never been another aircraft like her. There'll never be another aircraft with it like her. When it flies over, everybody looks. I don't care from 8 to 80, no matter where they're at. Other aircraft will fly over, they won't know what it is. But when that Huey flies over, everybody looks up. Okay, CCAD, last week we told you about the Depot's Fitness and Training, or FIT, contest. It's been just over a week since the contest kicked off, but today we're bringing you a story of inspiration, a story of a man who took the Colonel's fitness initiative and literally ran with it. John Rogers, who works over in information technology, has been actively using the footpaths here at CCAD for the past few months. I, uh, my diabetes got out of control and I started walking a little bit in March and graduated to running and changed my diet and my lifestyle pretty much in general. Every day we uh, walk at the same time. We do a 1.7 mile loop at lunch, then I run five miles after work, and then I walk with my wife in the evenings for another two and a half miles. Mm -hmm. You have to schedule your priorities and not let your schedule take over. Getting in shape and my health better is a priority with me, so I just make time and the motivation's there because of the end reward. Thank you, Jonathan. You truly are an inspiration. Now, don't forget the Fitness Express here on the base will be closed until July 11th, but don't let that discourage you. There are plenty of alternatives, and you can visit the CCAD Safety Internet page for more details. Now, right in line with CCAD's fitness initiative is one of the Army's top priorities, the Comprehensive Soldier Fitness, or CSF, a program aimed at helping soldiers, their families, and Department of the Army civilians be as strong mentally as they are physically. Part of the CSF program is the Global Assessment Tool, an online self-administered survey that measures one's strengths in four areas emotional, social, family, and spiritual. Until recently, the assessment was only available to soldiers and their families, but now it's been made available to DA civilians as well. Now you can visit the website to take your assessment today, which will provide immediate results that will allow you to identify your personal strengths and weaknesses. And in addition, work with you to begin personalized training to enhance performance and build resilience. Well, that does it for this week's edition of CCAD News Around the Depot. Until next time, I'm Nicole Placencia. Have a great week.